How's it going, neighbors? This is Ed here with eTrailer.com, and we're taking a look at the Yakima roof rack system on our 2022 Chevrolet Colorado. Having a roof rack to your vehicle helps solve the issue of not having enough cargo space, especially when you have a smaller pickup like the Colorado. Uh, it allows you to make use of the negative space on top of your truck to get those bigger, bulkier items on the road with you for your journey. So for example, if you want to get a rooftop carrier, rooftop basket, or even a bike carrier, you'd be able to take advantage of that space without taking away from your bed or your passenger area. The jet stream bars are a aero type bar so it's shaped like an airplane wing to help cut through the wind resistance uh, on the colorado you have a great amount of space between the top of the bar and the roof so that's going to work for most rooftop accessories that clamp around bars as far as your towers they actually make a contact with the gutter right in here and it contours to the ridge of the vehicle so that's going to allow you to get a nice secure fit on top of your truck while fitting the Yakima system to the Colorado, I noticed that the crossbar spread is very limited as far as how much space you have, considering it is a smaller vehicle with only, well, it has two doors, but not a lot of space. So you're gonna be limited as far as how far you can spread, as well as what you put up due to your antenna. So those are a couple things to consider with all crossbars on the Colorado. Overall, the Yakima crossbars are a really good addition to the top of your Colorado. Installation is a little bit tricky, but I'll get you through it. So let's take a look and I'll show you how to get it installed. We're going to start our installation by removing the end cap from our jet stream bar. Just kind of pull the tab up and just pull it forward. There we are. And now we're going to slide our our tower using this track here along the T-track. We want the inside of it pointing towards the metal and we're just gonna get it lined up. And it's a little tight so I'm gonna use my Yakima tool to loosen the inside bolt in here to allow it to go down our track a little easier. So now I'm gonna use the included tape measure ruler that's on the bottom of our bar to set our spread on both sides. And then I'll fasten down our towers until I hear the click right here. From here, we're gonna take our fit kit and we're gonna make sure our arrow is pointing out and clamp it down on the bottom of our towers right here at these points and just make sure it clicks on. And I've already done that on the other end. So now we're gonna take our bottom part of our fit kit and install it on the roof of the vehicle. With our towers and bar assembled, we're gonna just test fit our initial measurement. So we're gonna make sure everything is good to go. And once we confirm that we have everything in the correct positioning, with the jet stream tower. Then we're gonna use that same nut to fasten it down until we click using the Yakima uh, torque wrench. So from here, we're gonna to go to the next step of the install by adding the clip underneath the door jam. We're just gonna fasten down our bolt. We're gonna drop it back into our position where we've measured. We're gonna open this front gate here and use the clip for our fit kit. There's a small channel under here where it's gonna slide in and there's a hook on this metal screw that grabs the top of that bracket. And then when you fasten it down, it'll secure your tower to the roof of your vehicle. And you'll know that you've gotten to the required torque requirement once you're wrench clicks. Put down the gray cover and now put the cover over our tower. This has been a look at the installation and some of the features of the Yakima roof rack on our 2022 Chevy Colorado. Have a great day.